my studio is a mess right now. But um, I just wanted to do like a cash video. I feel like I haven't done one in a while. I like forget how to how to how to YouTube. How do I YouTube? Uh, my background looks kind of weird right now. Sorry. But um, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to film the video. I feel like I haven't in a long time and uh, I don't really have an excuse. I just sort of been lazy and um, YouTube isn't a job. So if I feel like I don't want to make a video at this moment, I'm not going to because I want this to be something fun for me. But um, I'm going to film today just because I want to talk to you guys, update you guys, but I also want to put my makeup on. So I was like, may as well do it at the same time. So if you guys are getting ready, or you're putting your makeup on, put this video on. Let's get ready together and let's just chat. Um, I wanted to talk about the shirt that I'm wearing. I posted this on Instagram. I've also been posting more makeup pictures on Instagram lately. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, I've been posting a lot of makeup on there. This shirt actually, Courageous Women Make History. Um, I actually made it with Danielle Marie, Kenzie Elizabeth, Molly Bailey, and Jasmine Sky, we all created the shirt together and we are all selling it just for a short window of time. So if you guys wanna get this shirt and then all of us could be matching, that'd be really fun and really cool. And then when we go to like BeautyCon, I'm going to BeautyCon Dallas by the way and Playlist Orlando. So if you guys are going there, we can all like wear the shirt and just be like cute together, you know? Check out the shirt. I'm gonna have a link to it down below if you guys want to cop it. I just, I'm really proud of it. I think it's cute. I wear it a lot. And it's also one of those shirts that like you can wear with leggings. Like right now I'm wearing it with leggings. And I throw on a pair of um, Tims and it looks so cute. Or you can also like totally, totally dress it up. So that's just how I like to wear the shirt. But we made it to kind of like encourage girls to stand up for themselves and be courageous and be a strong woman because I feel like it's so easy to not want to stand up for yourself because you're going to be called a bitch and stuff like that. This shirt means a lot to me, like the saying means a lot to me, and the fact that we created the shirt is just extra special. So if you guys want to get one, I'm going to have it linked down below. It'd be really cool if you guys could all get one. I also asked you guys to ask me questions on Twitter, like if I run out of things to talk about, but I did read a lot of the questions before I started filming. So thanks for sending in all the questions, babes. But um. Yeah, let me just like update you guys because I feel like a lot has happened in the past month and a half or so um, in terms of my future and like college and YouTube and everything like that. First off, I'm going to college. I wasn't going to tell people where I was going to college, but then I just realized that word's going to get out where I go because a lot of you guys are actually going to the same college that I'm going to and I know that because of the Facebook page and like... Um, you, it's just like sort of known now where I'm going and also because I posted it on Instagram. I'm going to the University of Alabama and I am so excited to be going there. Um, I definitely want to rush and just like have a good college experience. I'm so, 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 so excited. I absolutely like fell in love with the campus when I went and like everyone that goes there says that the campus is like unreal and so beautiful. And I have to, it is like hands down the absolute prettiest campus I have ever seen. And I toured like Pepperdine, which is in Malibu. And I still think um, Alabama's campus is gorge. Um, it's actually very funny about my college, like where I, why I even applied there because um, everyone in my school kind of applies to Alabama because everyone gets in pretty much. It's not hard to get into Alabama. At my school at least I don't know if it is like I don't I don't know why everyone in my school gets in but I think it's just because like Alabama wants northern kids that will that will pay the out-of-state tuition I don't really know but um I applied there as like a safety school and I really 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 wanted to go to Penn State uh, University Park like the main campus that's all I wanted to go my dad went to Penn State so I was like I have to go to Penn State whatever I really wanted to go and I totally thought I was going to get in because of like YouTube and like my extracurriculars. I was like, there's no way I'm not getting in, like all this stuff, whatever. Um, I got into Penn State, but I got into Penn State Berks. And not that Berks is like a bad campus. I just, it's t too small for me. And like, I just want a, oh, my nose is running. I just want a big campus. So um, I 
tried everything to go to University Park. Like I appealed, like everything. I was absolutely devastated. I was crying. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't get in. Like all this stuff. But like I don't know why I would have ever thought I'd get in because Penn State for in state is so competitive. And I don't know why I thought I could get in because I literally don't even have an A average. Like I've been 3'4, three, 3'3, three, three, something like that. And they want like I don't know, like a th uh, 3.8 or something like that with like really really bomb SAT scores and like I suck at SAT so like I don't know I don't know why I thought I could ever get into Penn State main campus but moral of the story I didn't get in and then um, we started looking at all these other bigger state schools for me because I got into Alabama before I heard back from Penn State and heard that I like got rejected from Penn State so we were like my mom and I started looking at all these bigger state schools whatever and then I started thinking like I already got into Alabama and like I know a lot of people that are going to Alabama whatever I literally applied to it because it was a safety school and because I knew I could get into it so I applied there having absolutely no intentions of wanting to go there like I remember I got the acceptance letter I was like as if I'm ever gonna go to Alabama as if you know so I definitely did not want to go there and then you know the more I thought about it the more it became like my top choice and like you know what like I could go to Alabama I'll probably like it there you know whatever all this stuff and then we did a visit there and I like I after the tour I put my deposit down and I committed to the campus like it is so beautiful I cannot believe I applied there as like a safety school I'm not even wanting to go there who is this See, I'm going to Alabama and I am majoring in communications. I applied to the School of Arts and Sciences because I thought that was the communication school. And then my um, my friend applied and she's like, oh yeah, I got into the, communica the communication school. I was like, I didn't even see the communication school in the application. So my dumb ass applied to the wrong school, but that's fine. Like, I, you can switch your major. It's no big deal. Uh, I do have a roommate. So if anyone's watching this and is going to Alabama next year, uh, I don't need a roommate because I already have one, but I do know that there are a lot of you guys that are going to school with me next year, so um, let's be friends, you know? Why not? I am nervous about going far away because I do, it's a 15 hour drive from Pennsylvania, but if I fly, it's like a two and a half hour flight, so it's really short, and then coming home, it's like an, literally like an hour and a half, two hours. So it's a really short plane ride, which is no big deal. Um, it's just the fact that like, I don't know, having to fly to school is a totally different experience than having to drive to your school. But 51% of Alabama is out of state. So that does make me feel better um, that a lot of people are in the same boat that I am. But I'm, I am just a little nervous. Like I know I'm gonna get homesick and all that stuff, but I just hope that I'm not gonna wanna transfer out because I know that I'm gonna love Alabama. Um, yesterday I got the MAC 135 and give me some because of Desi Perkins. Of course I love Desi. And um, this brush is like, I'm just so obsessed with it. It is so nice. Um, it just, it's like, oh, it's so nice. I love it. That's another thing I wanna talk about. I tweeted the other day, I was like, I don't know how people can like eat animal products like if you just think about it like it just make it's such a weird concept to like eat other animals like I just I don't know it's just so weird to me and foreign to me because I've just educated myself so much about vegan diets and like the lifestyle and everything like that and then like everyone's always talking to me like but you use mac and you have these bags made of leather like yeah I do because Here's why I eat vegan, because of the health reasons, um, and it's because of the speech that I saw, I forget the guy's name, but I'll link it below, and it was just saying, like, all the weird, weird stuff that happens when you eat, like, meat and animal products, and, like, it's all true. So I do it for the health aspect, and also just watching the animals get murdered is just brutal. All of my makeup products pretty much test on animals. Except for like Velvet 59 and uh, Clinique does, but then they also said they don't, so I don't, I don't know. Um, so that's the main reason why I eat vegan, because of the health reasons. And also just the abuse is just absolutely horrible. And also whenever I eat vegan, I tone up a lot quicker. So I like that part of my body um, and that aspect of the diet. But 
my makeup, my handbags, my jacket, um, I have a fur coat, I have a leather coat, like yeah, those are all animal products and I'm sure this is an animal product right here. Um, my puff balls, and like I have a lot of animal products and I just like, I don't know how to say this nicely because I know that like, people are going to attack me for it, but yes, I try to eat vegan, but I don't have a vegan lifestyle. If you don't agree with that, I don't care, like sorry that, I sorry, like I, if you don't agree with that, don't do what I do. Sculpt out a nice little jaw for myself real quick. You know what highlighter everyone seems to have forgotten about? Soft and Gentle by MAC. Like, I used this the other day and I was like, damn, like, why did I ever stop? Like, this shit is bomb. Champagne pop and, like, the biggest, whitest, goldest, most shimmeriest highlights ever. And, like, sometimes, don't get me wrong, I love, love a good champagne pop. I love a good highlight. I love a good... Anastasia is so Hollywood. Like, I love those highlighters, but like sometimes it's not a cute look. Like, I, do, I, I will say that. Like, sometimes it looks oily and like greasy. I want to start spray tanning, but I like, I don't because then you have to keep up with it, you know? Having to like self tan is so annoying because then I don't want to shower because then I have to like reapply it. I don't want to wash my face because then it runs down my arms. And like sometimes they have a smell to them. Like not a bad smell. Sometimes like your self tanner just like has a scent to it. And like I don't want to smell like my self tanner. So I don't know. That's just my logic on being tan right now. So that's why I'm not tan. Alright, I'm just gonna go on the Twitter water and see what you guys are asking me. Would you recommend eyelash extensions? Are they worth it? Uh I'm gonna do an entire video about eyelash extensions because a lot of people wanna know. Um, do I think that they're worth it? It's a lot of money. So if you're someone that doesn't wear a lot of makeup, I think they're great because then you don't have to put on mascara. You don't. It's pretty much like a no maintenance thing and all you need is concealer and brows and you're good to go. But if you're someone like me that really loves putting on makeup and you like getting done every day, um, I think it can be kind of a roadblock because it's so hard to like imagine doing your makeup every day with a big ass pair of fa false eyelashes like it's hard it kind of limits you as to what you can do so in that aspect like I, I didn't enjoy it because it really limited what I could do with my makeup but if you're someone that doesn't wear a lot of makeup I think they're amazing and I would totally recommend them um, I don't know. I did, I did like them, but sometimes it was just like I just I would want to put on like a pair of false eyelashes instead, and I I miss putting on mascara. So, but I will do an entire video about them because um, I do get a lot of questions about them. Well, I guess this brow is gonna be kind of straight today. Oh, maybe it shouldn't be straight. I effed up, man. What the, what am I doing? Did I like forget how to eyebrow? Man, I, I just f***ed up today. I hate when I mess up my eyebrows. Speaking of college, I always notice that every time someone goes to college, their YouTube channel turns into a college YouTube channel. And like, I don't want that to happen to mine. But I do understand the whole like, how do I freaking college? Like how? Um, I don't know because I don't college, but I know how to apply to college and that was a huge Like how do I for me like I Honestly this time last year. I was full-on panicking because I had absolutely zero idea how to even Think of applying to college and like everyone tells you that junior year like you should be on the game You should really be knowing I had not a clue this time last year. Up until September of my senior year, I had zero idea what I wanted to do for college. So if that's you, and if you, and the, it's just like the thought of college is just panicking you and you just cannot even imagine what you're going to do or how to apply or like you just seriously don't know how to, um, don't feel panicky because so many people feel that way. So if you want me to like do a video on like how to apply to colleges, I can because um, it's very easy when you know how to, but I still messed it up somehow because I still have colleges emailing me that I apply to being like, your application is incomplete. I'm like, what do you mean? 
I sent you everything. I mean, it's gonna be different for every school, whether you use like Naviance or, I think a lot of schools use Common App. Um, my school uses Naviance. I feel like a lot of schools use Naviance because that's how you can like re uh, request your transcript and stuff like that. Here's what happened to me. I transferred from on, um, public school to online school in the fourth quarter of my junior year. So, I like really missed because they talked a lot about how to apply to college the fourth quarter at my public school. So I really missed that. And I, I, you know, over the summer, all my friends were like, oh, I have to just start writing my essays. And I have to like, come on up, and I'll be honest. I'm like, what, what is all this? Like, I really didn't know anything. So the first day of my senior year, I went to my future planning center at my school. And I was like, I, I don't know anything. I don't have accounts. I seriously don't know how to apply to college. And like a lot of people already applied over the summer. If you want me to like do a video on that, I can. Maybe I should just like do it now. I don't really know. No, right now I'm tight lining, so I can't. I'm supposed to use my eyes water. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the strip down challenge all over again. I'm not crying, everyone. Oh my god, my ear starts twitching. I feel like Jack and Hill also just the tutorial on this. But I've been doing this makeup for a long time, guys. Okay. Yo, I'm so glad smudgy liner is like back. Oh, I answered one question. I suck. Do people in public recognize you or your YouTube? Yes, they do. Honestly, if you guys see me, like say hi. Because it's been like, it's been, so, it's like awkward when, because I know when people recognize me, like the body language is so different than someone that who doesn't and like I, I know. So say hi because if not, it's awkward for the both of us. And it's so awkward if you guys like take sneaky pictures of me because I see it and like, I, I like I see you taking them. And it's just, I feel awkward. Like, I'm not an animal at a zoo. Like, I'm a person. Come say hi to me. I'm not scary. I'm not going to be rude. I'm not going to be mean. I don't know. Plus, I'm normally with my friends, and, like, they notice it, and then they say something, and I'm like, yeah, I know. I see it. Like, whatever. So, yeah, people recognize me. Just say hi. Like, also, it's more, it's way more fun talking to you and, like, meeting you because you guys all know me, but, like, I don't know you. Like, I, I don't. Like, I wish I could say that I did, but I don't. So like, come say hey. Are you going to continue YouTube when you go to college? I am asked this question all the time. This is what I tell my YouTube friends, so I'm gonna tell you guys, is I'm probably going to start drifting off with YouTube in college. Here's why, because like I said in my search on challenge video, YouTube for me is a fun hobby of mine. And it's something that I started when I was in eighth grade. And I just can't imagine doing the same thing that I did in eighth grade that I'm going to be doing in college. Just because, like, I'm, I'll prop, like, when I'm, when I graduate, I'm going to be 21, 22. Like, can you imagine me doing something that I was 22 doing when I was 13? Like, I, I, I'm just probably outgrow it, honestly. And, like, my time will be up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, that's what I tell my YouTube friends, and they're like, oh my god, that's so sad. But, like, it's true. Like, my time will be up. I would have done what I love doing. And I want to do it. I want to do it for as long as I enjoy doing it. Um, that's what I'm going to say. I am very excited to be going to a Southern college, though. There's always something about the South that has always so intrigued me. Just, like, the big suburban life. I love the suburbs. I love the suburbs. Like, I love the city. But I really, really do love the suburbs. It's just so calming and homey feeling. Well, depending on where you go. Like Atlanta, Georgia, I could totally see myself settling down in Georgia and living there and like raising a family there. I love this makeup. Like I just think it's so like flattering. That's it, that's the video. Oh no, I'm exposed. Oh no, it's just a backdrop. That's the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, it's just something chill. Oh no, I missed you guys. Wanted to drop in and say hey. There's only a few days left to get these shirts. So if you want them, be sure to grab them. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.